everyone today is Tuesday and I did not vlog yesterday or this past weekend I was just kind of going a little crazy with the whole holiday I was just really stressed out and I needed a break so so yesterday I basically just worked on Etsy orders and today I worked on Etsy orders this morning so yesterday I also redid my bedroom I don't think I'd ever showed you guys my room before so I don't think you're gonna realize like what I changed but I thought I would show you guys it so when you walk in my room you see my bed I have like my pillows scattered all around the house right now I don't even know where they are so I only have two in here right now but there's my bed I have a full-size bed and the comforter is coming like all the way down to the floor because I don't like tucking it behind the wall just because like I feel like when I'm sleeping it's just like I don't know kind of claustrophobic so then I have this weird clip thing that looks really awful but there was nails on the wall when I moved in and I just like stuck it on the nails that were already there and they're supposed to hang like pictures and stuff on it but I don't really have anything on it right now so then over here is my side table I just have this lamp thing and my bunny which is super cute it's like a blue bunny that's super soft I got it from Hobby Lobby at Easter time and then we have this wooden plaque bunny and then this sign that says you are stronger than you believe braver than you know and smarter than you think and I got this from one of my therapists after I completed a program and then back there is a mason jar <laughs> rabbits um, the other one's a rabbit too it's just turned around and then I just have this folder which is some of my medical information I'm working on trying to get a medical binder together I am not even close to getting there yet but I have a bunch of papers and I just like keep putting them in these folders and they're just like lying around my house but I need to like put it all together into a medical binder because that would be super helpful for when I like see new doctors and stuff so that is that and then on the floor here I really don't like how this looks but this is our internet for the house so I don't know why there's two for some reason there's like two internet things I don't know what it is for but basically that's what runs our internet and this cord goes uh, all the way around here behind my bed and then through the floor into the basement and that's how our internet connects so it's kind of like stuck in this room so I have to keep it in here but I don't know I don't like that it's just like laying on the floor so I don't know I'm not sure I might eventually like try to put it in here but that cabinet is like full of junk right now so I can't really do that and Milo is going like crazy and you can probably hear him purring in this whole video but then over here I have this, uh, it's like a basket thing, but it's like cloth, and it's full of my extra blankets, extra, this is a pillowcase, and then sheets. I have like three sets of sheets, so I've got like more in there, and that's just like the blankets I'm not currently using. I have like two fleeces on my bed, and then my comforter and then a pair of sheets so anyways and then I have this backpack which I don't like this sitting on the floor either so I need to find a spot for this and then this is my old purse which I haven't used in about a year it just I liked it at first because it was so big but now I don't like it because it's so big and then next to my bed I have some cords which I need to figure out a better solution for this too because I just don't want anyone chewing on them. I have animals and like they chew on cords so that's just not a very good solution. Um, my curtains are just these white kind of see-through uh, curtains. You can't really see through them but they're not like blackout curtains and then so yeah that's just my curtains I have in my room and then this stuff is stuff that I'm going to be moving. So I have this wooden gray thing that I painted it's supposed to be my vanity so like inside I have like makeup stuff and like hair stuff and then this is a basket full of like extra bathroom stuff so this is my makeup and then I have like a bunch of soaps and everything in here coconut oil yeah so I don't know I need to go through this I literally haven't gone through this since I moved and I know that sounds really bad but I should probably just throw it all away because if I haven't touched it since I moved I probably won't use it but yeah so I need to take care of that and then I have this little stuffed bunny which I don't remember where I found this but I found it and then I just stuck it here and <laughs> this is a horse that I found 
when I was cleaning and it's like a stress reliever horse so you can like squeeze it. So I'm going to put this in my coping box which is like a box you can use like for when you're super anxious and stuff. And I got old DVDs which I don't even have a DVD or CD player so then I have a bunch of children's books under here. So then... I have to give those all back to my parents because, well, these are my sisters and then some of those are my parents. So this is, I think, all going to go back into my office. So this will be completely clear. I don't know what I'm going to do with those baskets yet. I have to figure that out. And then that's just like a little wheelie thingy, which I don't know. I'm really bad with names, guys. I'll probably put that in my office too as kind of like a seat for this. So yes, that is my room. And then my closet is in there, but it's not like super organized or anything. Here's an idea that I've been thinking about. I think I'm going to figure out some way to block off this corner with all those cords and then block off this where all those cords are. And then I might just have this whole area free for Lulu to live in because I feel like maybe if she was in my bedroom I would see her even more than I do in my office and I just feel like I'd have all my space back in my office so that she wouldn't be in there um, so I don't know I'm just thinking about doing that but my dad was gonna build me like a raised cage area in my office for Lulu so I don't know I'm like really confused otherwise I'll just use this like I'll just have Lulu because that's my office so she could just like run out into the hallway and use this as like a playtime area but then we have the problem with Milo because he's not allowed alone with Lulu because he's just way too hyper so so that is just a really long clip of my bedroom I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it so I'm gonna go ahead and make lunch because it is 12 35 and I am hungry and I am like to the point in my groceries where like I have nothing left like I have food but like the only food I have is like very random so I'm gonna try to force myself to like make a meal out of all the random food I have and hopefully it turns out good. Right, so I'll show you what I came up with. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but we'll see how it tastes. So this actually looks really good. The quinoa turned out amazing. I cooked this perfectly and I just put like some spices in there, which is why there's like speckles and stuff. And then this is just a mixture of onions, garlic, the uh, chili beans and chili tomatoes. So I know it's a very odd mixture, but that's what I had in the cupboard. So we're gonna see how this tastes. So I haven't vlogged in a long time. I haven't vlogged since lunch, which is the last clip you guys just saw. And basically what happened was I got a phone call from the doctor and I just kind of like didn't feel the greatest <laughs> after the phone call. Basically I just was a little upset and I just 
needed to process things and figure things out and like I just couldn't even think about vlogging and basically what happened is I my gastrologist called me I think that's how you pronounce it I, again I'm horrible at pronouncing medical terms but basically the GI clinic called me and they have been calling me back and forth for a while now and basically what is happening is I went in to get a colonoscopy and upper endoscopy done. I think it was last week. So basically they wanted to do a colonoscopy and upper endoscopy because of the symptoms I've been having. I've been having feeling of fullness um, right after eating. So like feeling very full very quickly, having a lot of stomach pain, having non-cardiac chest pain, and I've also been having like these attacks after I've eaten. So basically I'll like eat something and then like 15, 20 minutes later, sometimes even an hour later, I'll have like these attacks where like I get a rush of adrenaline and I'll start sweating. And it's not a panic attack, it's basically like basically feels like an allergic reaction so like kind of like everything like an allergic reaction would be except I don't get like the anaphylaxis where like the throat closes but I'll get like upset stomach nausea horrible like shakiness sweating all that stuff so it's not fun and because of all of those symptoms they wanted me to have a colonoscopy and endoscopy done. Turns out that my insurance denied me for an endoscopy. So I have kind of was upset about that but we filed an appeal. Basically like we appealed it to the insurance company, submitted another claim to have them look over my stuff again and see if I could get them to say yes and they came back with another no. So I was pretty upset about that. That's the phone call I got right after I stopped vlogging, basically saying, sorry, your appeal came back saying you cannot have an endoscopy done. Now because of this, my doctors really didn't want to put me on any medications until I had an endoscopy just to make sure we're treating the exact like symptoms or whatever. So basically this spring I was diagnosed with gastroparesis, which is gastric delay of the stomach, I think. Um, I have a very, very mild case. We decided to go ahead and start treating the gastroparesis and I'm gonna go on erythromycin for four weeks and see if it makes any difference. And then I'm also gonna be taking an antiacid for my acid reflux to see if that helps. So basically we're just gonna try to see if the medications help me have my appetite back and be able to eat and stuff like that. So tomorrow I'm actually going to a very interesting appointment. It's with a electrophysiologist, I believe, but basically he's a specialist in a city that's like three and a half hours away from me. Basically he kind of specializes in POTS or dysautonomia. Like he doesn't like specifically specialize in it but he knows a lot about it and he started like a POTS clinic with a couple other doctors in that area. So I'm hoping this guy will like actually know what it is and he would maybe be able to either diagnose me or diagnose me with something else. So I had my mom print out this diary kind of. It's like a log of all of my symptoms for the past couple months. I It started in June but I didn't really start documenting stuff until September. So September through November. September, October, November. So like three months and I'll just kind of like briefly show you what I've got on this uh, sheet. So this is the paper. It just kind of has the date up here and then what the symptom is. So something I experience with my issue is something called blood pooling and that's where the blood pools into your feet and your lower legs, your knees and upper calves sometimes. So basically the the blood isn't being pumped up to your brain. It's kind of pooling down in your feet. And then I just have some pictures and stuff of my heart rates and blood pressure. There's some more blood pooling. Here's where you can see it on my knee. You can see it's like this white outline with a red dot in the middle. That's blood pooling as well. That's pretty much it for today's video. I've 
jam-packed a lot of information here at the end. I'll probably cut a lot of it out. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you guys soon on a new one. Bye! Bye.